Bloody camera squinching. Right, that's fixed now. Action! <laughs> I think I'm so funny. What's happening everybody? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Happy New Year. It's currently the 5th of January um, 2023. Been a while well since I did our last video. Been really really busy. So right now I'm at a property that we've been doing up for a property developer in Glasgow. It's the west end of Glasgow. Going to show you around the property in a wee bit. However, the main point of this video today is I'm going to be talking about and reflecting on 2022 and where we're going for 2023. So I hope you all had a lovely New Year and Christmas and wish you all the best for 2023. So, what have we been up to here in this house? We have been doing the kitchen, the bathroom, some doors, flooring, um, and everything in between, skirting and things like that. The reason why I'm here today on the 5th, even though I'm not supposed to be back, starting back until the 16th, so um, I'm here on the 5th today, and what I'm up to is I'm doing a wee bits and bobs because the week before Christmas, I think it was the 22nd, 23rd and 24th, doesn't really matter, before we all shut down, I was feeling a bit poorly, I was feeling a bit unwell, um, I had a really bad flu that's going to go on about the now. As well as that, the customer added a few things on, so he's quite happy that we're kind of still pulling away with it. So we're just here, tying a few wee things up before we go on holiday, which I'm also going to talk about in this video, where we're going on Saturday, so stay tuned. Anyway, suppose, blow the dust off the old tool belt, and it's time to get back in it. Let's get to it. go between the wall and Bikita in Milwaukee so I just kind of decided you know what enough's enough I'm going to get rid of um, I was fed up of changing all the batteries and stuff like that so I sold all the wall gear that I had and I've kind of mainly focused on the Milwaukee stuff and kind of keeping it Bikita maybe I'll go one way or the other so this is the room I saw it's a lot bigger it's really good for doing things like the See the, the, the bigger scuttons that we've got, like these kind of West End properties. It, it might annoy some people's OCD that it's a red saw or a yellow stand. I did look into getting the red stand, and the Milwaukee one just didn't seem as good. The Dwalt one is a far superior sand. Also, another thing that we kind of upgraded at the end of last year, Paslo, who said it's a first fix gun. This is a second fix gun that I've invested in myself. Um, so, when I sold my Dwalt nail gun, I purchased this. And it's good because it's the same compatible batteries with the, with the first fix gun. One of the main things why I changed to the password gun was for the gas. It's a lot better for going through hardwoods. And another reason was that the password, the straight nails are a lot easier. They're in stock a lot more um, in my area. Whereas the, the DeWalt gun had the angled nails and they were really hard to come by. So that's why we upgraded the password. Maybe do another video in the future if you guys would like that about all the new gear that we got. So first job of today. In this property, as I said before Christmas, I was really, really not well and I couldn't even stand up. So my good friend Josh came and he done all the scutting in here and what he did was he'd never done the architraves because he didn't know about it. So the architraves are something that I'm going to do today and then this is this kind of room done. Getting a wee bit of finishings to do around the window but we'll maybe see how we got on today 
um, because there is other bits and bobs that we do today. So, 2022, last year, one of my goals was to really focus on YouTube, however, we never really got around to it. We did a lot of great big projects in 2020. Starting off at the start of the year, we did a project in Mogai, which is kind of in the west end of Glasgow, but it's more in the suburbs, if you like. And what we did there is we took all the the, the roof structure off of this old bungalow, we put a new truss roof extension on and an extension out the back. So if you missed it, you can head over to Instagram and you can see it, but here are some short snippets of that project right now. That project is our first kind of large-ish project. It certainly taught me a lot. I said we've taught me a lot about business, taught me a lot about staff, taught me a lot about organisation. Some good points, lots of good points with that. It definitely taught me how to be a better joiner. It also taught me in how to be a better business owner and manager and kind of leader, and that kind of set us up for the year. There was some impulse to it. The client kind of was like project manager it themselves, and I learned very quickly that in business it's probably not the best idea to have a client to project manager themselves. And it's not nothing to do with their capabilities, it's just like it's just a lot easier for using our own subcontractors and we're all like working together as a team and it kind of works a lot better. And that's something to take into account if you are looking to do your own extension or your own property and you're thinking about getting builders in, just let the builders do it. Let let them organise it because they know all the trades, they know everybody that kind of they're wanting to work with and the problem that we had the customer had organised certain subcontractors and they never turned up on time, etc. It kind of held us up and there was a point where we never had worked for a couple of weeks. So that was a downfall, but again, you've seen it, it was a great job, there was lots of positives to it. We, we took on another joiner and we, we, we certainly grew as a team and as a business. It was a brilliant, brilliant project for us to kickstart 2022. Moving on, the next project that we did in 2022, our large scale project, it was the same as project and by far, hands down, my absolute favourite job that we did last year, it was last kind of May, June, so that's kind of when we get our best weather in Scotland if you're not from Scotland. So we had a client that came to us and they had kind of been let down by other joiners, they built them stables and they blew over in the winter. So we, they had asked me to kind of design, project manage and build them new stables. So that's what we did. Absolutely fantastic. It was great working with the horses. I mean, the horses kind of never had very little go. The family had to send the horses away to another stable and it cost them a lot of money. So they, they built these ones. It was great. And the, the best part about that project, I think, was kind of the free range. I mean, there wasn't any like architect or kind of structural engineer involved in that project. The, the client kind of gave us free range to design it, choose the type of products that we were using. So by far, that was definitely um, my favourite job for that reason. The one of the big lessons I learned on that job was logistics. It was like one side of a field, it was like really far away. So we had to like think about how we were getting all the materials down to the bottom of the field from the car park and as well as that kind of where they lived. 
it was um, a different kind of residency that they were in. We couldn't upset any of the neighbours at the car park, so we had to get all the materials. So we kind of had diggers and forklifts and dumpers as well. Like getting our tools down every morning was a logistic task as well. So that was it. That was a kind of big lesson on that. And again, really grateful for it. It turned out absolutely amazing. And once the project was done. The clients were nice enough, they had a party at the end and they kind of invited us and we kind of really got to know them so it was a great project for that. Again, while well, I scribe this in, here is some snapshots of that project and we got even some great drone footage of it. Right, so we're at our new project and we're super excited to get started. So the first thing we've got to do on this job is we've got to move the gate from up the top down to here so that it's an easier path for our diggers and things like that because our new stables are going to be down at the bottom um, just over the other side of that field there. I don't know if you'll be able to see the video, but that's what we're up to today. So in amongst all the, the larger jobs that we did, I'm just talking about like my favourite jobs and that was my top two. I've still got one more to tell you about. So in amongst the two jobs, we did fences, kitchens, bathrooms, doors, curtains, facings, everything else that we kind of do for our more local customers or like smaller, smaller projects um, that we do, we've got that kind of keeps everything ticking over. So this house, for example, is what we would class one of our smaller projects. Um, even though it's, it's still a large if project, it's, Couple of weeks worth of um, compared to the jobs, it's a wee bit smaller. So that's what we do in between. So if you're looking to have your doors done, your kitchen done, your bathrooms done, anything like that, make sure the messages or get in contact with us if you're staying in the Glasgow area. So anyway, moving on to my favourite job number three. Again, kind of northwest of Glasgow, um, in the suburbs area, we did a double story extension which entailed of building the timber kit, we did the internal walls, we did the truss roof, we did bifold doors, a big massive lovely stunning Houghton's kitchen with an island and a sink and all fantastic. I just finished the project at the end of the last year, like just before uh, Christmas. The customer had decided that they were going to paint the project themselves, so the painting isn't finished yet. So we will have a full big reveal on Instagram once all the painting's done, and once they've got all the furniture in and they're settled in, and everything else that goes kind of in once we leave. So that's what happened in 2022. Now, let's get on to what we're going to be looking forward to in 2023.
The Bulls of 2023, what I'm really looking forward to this year, we're not just going to be mainly focused on the business, I do have a lot of personal goals as well, if he's interested that will tell you first. So personal goals for me is just to really have fun, not to kind of take things as serious as what I went down in the past, sometimes I get myself quite worked up about things, like especially on work if things aren't done to, uh, like uh, on time or what we planned, like I just need to learn like life is life and things will happen, but at the same time we have that aspect of discipline. So, uh, this year, I'm, personally, I'm doing a fitness competition in February. Jodie's got a big birthday in March, so I hope to do a good bit of travelling. That's kind of my personal plans. I'm also hoping to buy another house. Ambition's high, so we're hopefully going to smash all the goals. For the business, we're hoping to progress again, starting again, because right now it's just me and Jodie. So we're hoping to rebuild a team. Hopefully have maybe another joiner and an apprentice by the end of the year again. It was really good when we had that last year. Obviously certain uh, people left the business for unforeseen circumstances and different things. And it's all in 2022 so it doesn't really matter. So hopefully we're going to build the team up again. Come back even bigger and stronger. I'm hoping to... One thing I learned last year in business that maybe a lot of people can take on is a lot of the time like, I was like working to live instead of living to work if that makes sense or whatever way that says goes, I think I've said it wrong. Basically like I want to really have fun, slow down a wee bit, enjoy being a business owner, enjoy being self-employed, kind of enjoy the fact that if it's a nice sunny day in Glasgow maybe, if we're working in empty houses like this, we may work on Saturday, we might go do something fun on the Wednesday, things like that and as well as that I'm really hoping that we'll progress where we bring, do bring people on that they can progress their skill set. In terms of projects that we've got lined up for 2023, we have a couple of extensions, we have a couple of other big projects that we're not, I'm not really wanting to disclose right now because I'm really hoping that there'll be like YouTube videos in the future. I'm kind of hoping that they're going to be something that you'll like to follow along with on Instagram. And it means that and my person that wouldn't count their eggs before they hatch or something. Like, I'm really bad at these things, but... Count your chickens before they hatch. There you go, <laughs> count my chickens before they hatch. I don't want to do that, I don't want to spoil the surprises. So, what I want to know in the comment section guys, I want to know what your goals are for 2023. I want to know if you achieved your goals in 2022, what you're looking forward to this year. A few errands to this afternoon. We're off on holiday on Saturday. Where we're going on holiday, I'm going to call, I'll share it on Instagram and it's going to be in the next exciting video. So stay tuned for our personal vlogs and I'll catch you in the next one.